Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. This is my let's get ready for camp suggestion video for anybody who's in the camp as well as those who there weren't enough kits for. So I'm just sharing ways that you guys can pull things together from your current stash, not, not spend a lot of money or if any at all, and um, still participate without the kit. So, and I was just saying like this is a 2018 calendar. I love this calendar. I get this free every year from the Daily Bread because um, we love that ministry. We support that ministry and they are so gracious to send this every year. Um, it's my favorite calendar. I hang it in my kitchen. I used to always put Lane calendars. My husband would always buy me a Lane calendar and I just love my Bible calendars better. But um, anyways, I was just saying I would cut these flowers out. I might, you know, I, I don't know. I might cut out the letters if I didn't have any sticky letters. I might use this as a background and then put other things on top of it, like letters and wording or a journaling card. Hold on one sec. Sorry, guys. I don't think I need to answer scam likely, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, so these are great affordable options. So if you get free calendars in the mail, um, if you have old calendars and you don't want to get rid of them, use them. Another thing is... If you have a trimmer, grab it. It might make it faster, it might not. If you just have a dollar pair of scissors, that worked great too. All right, one last thing is any kind of ruler. Many of you have rulers, stencils, anything with a shape on them. Um, I get some paper things, they have edges on them. I could trace that and then just cut it out. Um, you do not have to have specific items but I just want you to see there are things that you can use that you already have in your stash. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I could encourage you with? Um, again, we will share. I will be sharing the scripture each day. And, um, you know, don't go out and spend a lot of money. If you have $5, use it wisely. Hit the sale rack. Look at things outside of the box if I can be that bold to say that. You could buy a 50 cents composition notebook at, at um, Walmart. They're cheaper there than at the Dollar Tree. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get your glue, your scissors, and even a tape runner. And you can go to Tuesday morning and get washi. You, know, you can get a whole set of washi for three, four dollars. You can get, uh, at the Dollar Tree, you can get a series of pins, like gel pins, and not those, but gel pens. And they actually have felt pens, too, for a dollar. And you get a, a rainbow of colors. Um, just either use what you have or grab what you don't have. Or, like I said in the beginning, grab one of the free magazines as you go into the grocery store if you can't afford even a composition notebook. Um, because sometimes you can't even afford a composition notebook. I know. I've been there. You know, use what you have. Please do not, do not, do not go out and spend a fortune. This isn't about the supplies. This is totally about the journey. Let me say that one more time. This isn't about the supplies or the kit. It is totally about the journey. Keep it simple. Keep it affordable. Do what you can do. You could literally make this your journaling notebook. I mean, I would just get... Um, acrylic white paint I would paint these down and I would just start and if I wanted to cover I would just um, use like a hold on guys <laughs> hold on hold on I would grab you know something out of a magazine or ephemera like if you have an old ephemera kit and just cover things up and how gorgeous of a color would that be I mean cover how much how beautiful would that be you just cover this up and you'd say my 2019 Summer Adventure Bible Journaling Camp. And go from there. Um, and I know people who journal in their Bibles and it's not a journaling Bible. Not saying do that, but if you feel led, you can do it. Um, you can get a, a Bible sometimes at the Dollar Tree. A dollar. You can grab a Bible. They're going to be of that kind of... Uh, Oh, more, it's a different type of paper. It's not going to have a slick finish or a thin finish, but it'll be more like construction paper or, you know, not quite as thick as that, but, um, and it'll be very porous. So I will just say, you know, put something down over it like a clear gesso if you can. 
Um, or, or even if it were me and I couldn't afford it, I might do like a, um, like a Mod Podge finish that I get in the dollar bin, or I would use like even an Elmer's glue, water it down, um, but not too watery, and I would paint it on, and I would let it sit overnight and see, and I would do a test patch to see if it works, because you, you have to be careful on some of those Bibles that are from the Dollar Tree, the ink might, spe might smear, so you have to be careful of that. Um, and if that were happening to me, and all I could do was that, I would take like a paper towel and I would dab it on, you know, do a test patch, and then I would let that dry and it would have like this really neat textured finish. You could still read it. Anyways, so um, just keep it simple. Please, please, I mean, please do not go out and spend a lot. Um, again, it's about the journey, not the supplies. So every day I'll share the scripture. I'll list it below in the about section. Uh, or I mean, not the about section, in the description below the video. You can literally cut and paste it. And, and you can um, you can literally um, print that out on your computer or, you know, print it off on a, on a piece of Xerox paper. You do what works for you because literally the packets of scripture are little bitty things that I found on the internet and just put it all together for everybody. So um, just recognize that. Um, and we had... Our Xerox scene was donated to us. I mean, it was amazing. I was just in awe. So, um, you can also go to Illustrated Faith. They have inexpensive digital downloads that you can download, print out yourself, and you'd have all different kinds of beautiful options for your pages. So, keep it simple. Don't go crazy. Um, just enjoy that time in God's Word, being with other believers. Um, we'll be praying for each other, we'll be cur encouraging each other on, and, um, and just, you know, get that really good experience of being in God's Word and knowing Him better. Because that's what this is all about. We're seeking Him and His will in our lives. And the number one thing that we do when we, when we've been through a difficult time or we're praying for somebody else is we dig in the Word. And when we read God's Word and we memorize God's Word, and these things help us memorize God's Word, when we write it out, when we journal it, when we do all of that, when we meditate upon it each day of this camp, then we have it in our hearts. And God can teach us from it. And we can know better the Word, as we know in John 1, 1, Jesus. So if we're to be like Christ, if, we're to be a, if we are Christians and we call ourselves Christians and we're to be like Christ, then knowing Jesus and, you know, the Word is the best thing we could possibly do. So, again, not about the supplies. It's about the journey. Okay, friends, I am super excited. I cannot tell you. I'm sure I will be on pins and needles. I'd hope to get things started today. But my youngest, um, we're super excited. She had a big day today. And um, she is going from junior college to college college. You know, she'll be doing a little bit on both campuses still. But... It, it was a great, exciting morning, and so um, it we were up in the wee hours, and and it was just like, oh my goodness, it's so early, but it was such a blessing, and I so desperately wanted to drive her, but it's, um, I let my husband, I, I asked him, I said, do you want to do this? And he was like, yes, and I said, okay, okay, and um, our neighbor is selling an, a pickup truck, can you believe it? And so my husband is going to look at that today, and for her. And we are really excited. My first vehicle was a pickup truck. Mine was in horrible shape. Sounds like this one's going to be in good shape. So um, we're just excited for her. We know that this is just an ex exciting time for her. And so I didn't, I, I wanted to come in and start videoing ahead. And I probably will over the weekend because I don't want to leave anybody hanging. And I've got tons of videos um, saved on my computer right now for other things for the channel. So I am, um, it, there's, yesterday I think I loaded four videos. It was just like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. But, um, it's an exciting time for this channel. And I'm so glad that you're each here. And I'm so glad that those that are in the camp receive the kits and those that are coming to the camp that may not have the kits, but you are so incredibly, uh, creative that you are going to create your own. And even if you say I'm not creative, 
we're going to go that way. We're going to, we're going to walk right through that together. So, okay, my dear sweet friends, I do want to share one thing. So I bought a Bible from Move the Mountains and we have had another one essentially donated to the camp members. So um, I received an email and this is the one I had purchased one and then the owner, Amanda, who's so sweet, it's an Etsy shop, Move the Mountains with an S. Um, she reached out to me and said, because I asked her, I said, do you have that large print? You know, and she was like, I'm out right now, but I will get one for you. So she got me this one and she has another one that's coming. So I'm super, super thankful. And so as a result, I shared the other one. So the winner of our, um, hold on, I don't want to drop that. There we go. Our journaling Bible is Pam. So it was great. Pam's in our, in our camp, and I'm not going to go any further than that, but just to say her first name, and congratulations, Pam. We are super excited for you. My youngest did the drawing for our camp. She was so excited, and uh, she helped me package everything up at the end. Um, I had everything ready to go and labeled, and so she was my legs in the post office, and she was the one who drew the name, and she was super excited. Plus, she packed up the Bible while I was finishing everything else off, so... Pam, uh, we are super, super happy for you. I know that several of you have gone out and found affordable solutions for journaling Bibles. You do not have to do that, but if you want to do that, I think that's wonderful too, and I'm, I'm excited for each one of you, and many of you have never done any kind of, of Bible journaling. Some of you are more talented and experienced than I am, so I am just super excited. And I'm, <clears throat> pardon me. Let me get a sip of water here. Hold on. Always bring water to camp. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, but just, um, I'm going to try to give us, um, a, <clears throat> a, like a hashtag or something where we can upload pictures on, on, um, social media and, and I'm not very good at this. So if anybody wants to email me how to do that, how to develop a hashtag or whatever, um, I think you just do it, but I'm not sure. I'm going to read up on that this weekend, but, um, so beginning next Monday, we start, and many of you are like, oh, I showed up late, I'm not going to be able to do it, or you're watching this, and it's like, you know, June 2020, you can still go through the whole video series and do it, you can be a part of us, you know, a year later, and I think that would be wonderful, so, all right, sweet friends, um, congratulations, Pam. Congratulations to each and every one of you that wants to dig in God's Word more. He is going to bless you. And there's going to be a million reasons to keep you from that time of growing in Him. But if you will commit with your heart and with your, your time scheduling and with everything else, God will bless that in your life. I promise you, God loves you. He wants to be with you. He wants you to know Him better. And how better than digging into the Bible. So, all right, my friends. I hope you enjoyed these two videos. I was just so excited to show y'all things. Because I just got so many emails. And I was just like, Lord, I knew I was going to share like a quickie on how to, you know, throw some things together. And But then I realized there was just a lot more that I could share that for those that don't have the kits. So, I'm just wanting anybody who wants to be a part of it to be a part of it. And I'm super excited. So, all right, my dear sweet friends, if you liked these two videos, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate your feedback. Um, if you are going to dive in without the kit and put it together on your own, please leave a comment below, but even better, send me an email at josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com. I would love to hear who's hopping in with us, even without a kit. And... Um, Anyways, um, I'm going to try to come back later, show you another video this weekend on how to organize your supplies if you're in the camp. And for those of you who are watching this and you don't have the kit, so to speak, and you've put together your own kit, you can, you can totally, you know, organize a right along with us because we want you to be with us. And, um, yeah, um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because... To be a part of these different um, 
<clears throat> pardon me, blessings of this channel because we are blessed by others. Um, and I love to share it with you guys. Please be subscribed. You have to be subscribed, be 18 years or older, live in the United States for me to, to send these things out. Um, that I've got to figure out shipping too because shipping is not inexpensive. It's it's not crazy, but it's never inexpensive when you have so much that you're sending out. So um, I'm really praying through how we do this moving forward. And I think maybe if I come, if I go earlier, I don't have to send things priority. I mean, sometimes mailing something priority is like, you know, 20 cents more. That's, that's negligible. But depending on how many you're mailing out, though, you know, if you're mailing out 50, then that counts, you know. But if you're mailing out a dozen, then you can kind of work with that. But um, anyways, but I, I'm excited that we will have so many things coming this summer. And um, I'm going to have different things in the camp. I'm going to have some drawings. And um, it'll be based on you know, different requirements that you, as you go through the camp. So, um, and, and we'll be sharing pictures and all of that, guys. So, and, and seriously, you're going to look at my stuff. If anybody who watches, hold on, my 100 easy, you know, 100 days, I look at some of my journaling and I think, wow, that looks like a kindergartner did that, <laughs> you know, but I don't care because it's between the Lord and I, and it's, you know, I mean, uh, would I be like super excited to put this out there only if it would encourage somebody else you do not have to be an artist you just have to have a heart for the Lord that's all that matters seriously that's it this is between you and him and you know I look at some of this and I just think oh it's so and look like here right here this is just acrylic paint how inexpensive is that that's literally like a portion of a penny and the cost so you know, don't feel like, I mean, the other things maybe, but, and this is just, you know, like bits and pieces of washi I've torn off. We use the whole buffalo. I mean, if you haven't noticed, <laughs> when I'm cutting washi and I don't use it, I save it. I save it on my, my, um, my mats. I save it everywhere. I mean, if I have anything with the plastic card, you know, surface a lot of times, I'll have washi saved on it. So it doesn't take a lot of money, you know be creative use magazines you can even use the letters for magazines use it all and uh be ready to share because even if you feel like it's not a massive work of art you know or maybe you're even a little embarrassed you wish it would have gone a little better sometimes what you do is the the pebble in the pond for the next person it encourages the next person who encourages the next person who encourages the next person and the idea is this whole channel is about encouragement. So being a part of this channel, subscribing, that's the idea. So, all right. I have talked way too much, but we are very excited. And I just have received so many emails that I wanted to encourage you guys. You do not have to have the kit. Hop in with us and let's get going. You've got the weekend to grab your whatever supplies you have in the house. Or if you got to go to the grocery store, you got to go to Dollar Tree, you've got to go, you know, whatever you can do. Don't go crazy. Only buy a little bit. That's my encouragement. Keep it lean. Um, and a lot of things you can creatively make yourself. Period. Like this right here, I could cut a strip. And wouldn't that be gorgeous washi? See? There's so much you could do. I could just go on and on. All right. All right, my friends. Um, I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. Let's pray for the camp. And I'm going to let you go. If you've hung with me this far, you are amazing. I just want to really say you're amazing. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we give you this time and we give you this camp. We give you what we'll, what we'll learn in the camp, what we'll walk away with, maybe even forever in our hearts. Lord, I pray that our words would be pleasing to you, that our activities would be pleasing to you, and that even if we are not a Rembrandt, which I am not, that this would just be a way to further meditate on your word and then it can be something that I'm making for you, God. And I pray that it would just be encouraging to someone else. Lord, I, I'm humbled. I'm so humbled by all you do. And what you provided for this camp is absolutely amazing. And we thank you, God. 
We thank you for each and every person who's come into camp. And that means everyone who watches the videos, you're coming to camp. And I'm just so excited, God. And we pray, God, that we would all encourage each other and grow in you. That's it. That's what camp is. So, all right, Lord, thank you again for all who are here today. I pray that you bless each and every one in their day. And, Lord, I pray that as they seek to know you better, that this will be a place that will be encouraging for them. Thank you, God, again for all that you're doing. We give you this camp. We give you everybody who's going to be a part of this camp now, in the next month, in the next many years. It's yours, Lord. We give it to you. In Jesus' precious holy name I pray, amen. All right, sweet friends, I will let you go. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Leave a comment, email me. You do whatever you guys need to do. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And uh, I look forward to talking to y'all uh, soon. Uh, there you go, talking to you soon. Goodness, talking to you soon. You can tell we were up early. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Take care.